Gilead uh, is buying biotech company Immunomedics for $21 billion. The acquisition expands Gilead's portfolio of drugs uh, to treat cancer. Meg Terrell joins us now with more. There's a lot swirling around here. Gilead had been mostly in, in blood tumors, I think. In addition to best known, obviously, we know about uh, remdesivir. I don't know how profitable that eventually becomes. So Immunomedics, Meg, has been around a long time. It was uh, a tenth of where it's being acquired. It was, uh, it's being acquired at $21 billion. It's a $2 billion company in the last 52 weeks. So they finally got, what's it, immune, an immunoconjugate. Have you done some, some uh, I'm sure you did your homework all weekend long. So they got some positive uh, results about a breast cancer treatment on a really tough type of breast cancer, what, what's called triple negative or something. And this extended um, uh, survival, which means it has a, a mode of action on something previously we had no, and it's a so it attacks your own tumor with, with an antibody that has some poison-like attached to the antibody. Is that about right? You know it's right, Joe. It's called an antibody drug conjugate. And it, it's a technology that's been around uh, for a while. But you're right. It is um, thought to be potentially better because it uses that antibody to home in on targets on cancer cells and then delivers this payload uh, that can kill the cancer cells, what's referred to often as a Trojan horse kind of approach to this. But let's talk about the deal specifics to start with. Uh, Gilead is paying $88 a share. That is a 108% premium to where Immunomedics closed on Friday. They're using $15 billion in existing cash and $6 billion in debt. They say this should break even in 2023, add to earnings after that, and they expect this deal to close in the fourth quarter. Now, the drug uh, that Gilead gets with this is called Trodelvi, and it was approved in April for triple negative breast cancer, which is a very difficult cancer to treat. Previously, the options had been chemotherapy, and this is for a very specific segment of that population, people who've been failed by two other therapies trying to treat that cancer that has already spread. Uh, and they did show very promising results and got that approval in April. And guys, there is a European medical conference uh, focused on cancer this week. We're expecting to see full data uh, on the drug in that indication, plus more indications. Uh, so guys, uh, with all of those indications and this price tag, which is $2,000 per vial or an estimated more than $100,000 per course of therapy, which is what these targeted cancer drugs cost these days, analysts estimate this could be a $4 billion drug down the line. And of course, this is just the biggest deal in a series of many where Gilead has been trying to build itself into a cancer powerhouse. Uh, previously, uh, it did Kite Pharma for $12 billion to get those immunotherapy drugs. And then under new CEO Dan O'Day, who came over from cancer powerhouse Roche, they bought 47 for $5 billion earlier this year. But a true acceleration, guys, in these cancer deals. Gilead trying to turn itself from an HIV and hepatitis C company into one that also has these major uh, forces in cancer.